Hi everyone and welcome back. We have a fragrance haul coming up mm, for you. Yes. And I have invited Rotten Rebel to do thank it with me. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, thank you for coming over. We are going to have some fun. Yes, because, a lot of fun. Yeah, because we have six fragrances before us and we have some from Tom Ford. We mm. have Van Cleef and Arpels. Yes. We have some Armani. <laughs> And we have YSL and oh my god, let's just start this. Yes. So I think you should start. Oh, yes. what an honor. Yeah. So uh, first up is La Nuit de l'Homme from YSL, the Eau de Parfum. So this is the bottle. It looks like pretty much all the other bottles. I love La Nuit de l'Homme. How do yes. you feel about La Nuit? I, I, I love, love it. it. So yeah. if I spray it on Ooh, and you yeah. read the notes. Please. Yes. So we have cardamom, grapefruit, then we have leather. Oh my Ooh, God. Lavender, clary sage, tonka bean, sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. So in one way, this reminds me, at least note-wise, of the original. Yes. Um, and that sweet grapefruit mm. makes it something extra. It's a more fruity version of the original, I would say, in a very good way. Yes, so um, I get a dose of that clary sage. That one to me yeah. is really prominent in yeah. this one. I get a hint of something that could be leather. I get that grapefruit. I get that tonka bean sandalwood vetiver patchouli blend. Yes. The lavender to me is, is there, but it's not super prominent. No, this is very elegant. Um, I would say as a man you can wear this to any occasion, but I would save it for more elegant occasions. Maybe going to some event or on a date. I mean, you can rock it at work, but yeah. I think this is like the one you save for. I was about to say nighttime activities. Whoa! <laughs> but I meant like evening activities. Mm, yeah. Evening act activities. Things you do after work. Evening activities <laughs> is the sort of polite way, way of saying the other thing. <laughs> I think this is definitely more fresh and fruity mm. than the original, which to me is more sweet, warm and round. Mm. Um, we're going to have to do a comparison, uh, but this, this is, is nice. a good runner up. Yes. But I will always be in love with the original, the original. one. Uh, okay. yeah. I, I think this is an, um, uh, the Peru, I can't talk. <laughs> I think this what is, are you trying to say? <laughs> I think this is an awesome, awesome release. I really enjoy yes. this one. So uh, are we moving on to the next yeah, one? I think so. Yeah. So I'm going to start with Oof. Emporio Armani He. Mm. And this is the latest one that came out in, I think, 2020. Exciting. I have yeah. not tried this one. Have you had Armani He? Early in, in my fragrance journey, I had uh, the men's version, which is the same color and everything. Yeah. But that was released way, way back. And if yeah. this one was released in 2020, I'm not sure if the name of that one was he, but the bottle uh, colors was the same and everything. Yeah. So uh, I must have gotten the smallest bottle yeah. there is. This is 30 mil. I, I honestly. But it's so small. I'm a bit sort of a not scared, but I'm not sure what's going it's to gonna be, be in like that It's going to be like a sample one. in here. <laughs> because I had the full size one of the, the older ones. And oh, look. Yeah, there it's is like something a, in here. It's like a baby. It's like a baby. Yeah. He. <laughs> so cute. But the, the color of this one is still, if anyone knows, please do comment. Uh, please put, put it in the comments. If this is like the 2020 version of the he in the past, or if the one uh, with the same color in the past is named something else. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this is going to be exciting. And you remember that we tried uh, she. Yes, and I have both it. Both of us really I, like it. Yes, I yeah. really like that one. So, if you spray this Ooh, on, nice. I'm gonna read some notes. Wow! So we have an opening with yuzu, mm -hmm. sage, and cardamom. Then some nutmeg, rose, orris root, vetiver, sandalwood, white musk, and tonka beans. And I like it. I do. This is like smelling a bottle of Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. In a very good way. <laughs> I was expecting yeah. something maybe heavier and more vanillic because that's like the female version, but this is completely different from she. Yeah. I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, so it's a bit spicy. The sage is coming through, but it's not as intense as, no. let's say, 
this one right here. No. This, age, if this one was more prominent. Yes. The Yuzu, I mean, I'm not an, I've got to be honest, I'm not an Yuzu expert. No. So I really, maybe that's the bringing it that sort of a slight fruity Yeah, sweetness. some something citrusy. The Oris is there, the Rose yeah. is there, and then we have the woody, uh, musky, um, and slightly sweet uh, dried out. Yeah, and I wish it's I got nice. more of the tonka beans and the nutmeg, so it wouldn't have hurt to be slightly more sweet. So I think this one is really, I'm almost gonna say, I think this is quite versatile. Yes, and I was just because about to say, it's not super sweet or it's super very versatile, friendly. but I also think it's kind of generic. Mm -hmm. And to me, that means kind boring. of boring. Yeah. yeah. So I think you are going to have to use this so I can see what I think when I spend some time with it. I do get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, and I do have to agree with you that it does, at least right now, it does feel a bit too simple. Yes. Too safe and all that. Yeah. That doesn't mean that it's not a good scent because no, it, it is does a good smell scent. good, yeah. definitely. But I think for someone who has a lot of different fragrances, this might be something that feels a bit redundant because it yeah. doesn't really offer something spectacularly new or anything. No, no. Uh, but it's still a good one. So, it yeah. Is. How would you describe um, it if you're going I to give your say... verdict on this one? Is it yeah, boring? A little bit boring. A little bit boring. A little bit soapy. A little bit soapy. And I'm not so into soapy and fragrances. She's not into soapy fragrances. I gotta stop doing this. And I am amazing. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. No. You are going to just repeat. Ah, and I'm amazing. <laughs> no, I'm amazing. Oh, you are. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think I get it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I am going to have to try and, uh, or start wearing this, try it out, see yeah. the sort of reactions I get with it. Uh, regardless, you can't go wrong with it. it no, you're going to no, smell it's good definitely a good one. It's yeah. a safe blind buy, um, but maybe not so surprising yeah. or overwhelming yeah no so let's move on to the next one and the next one is uh another one from ysl and this is ysl y le parfum nice and i am really excited about this because the par no the edp yeah was an amazing one yeah so please do uh, if you have the chance check out the previous fragrance haul we did on my channel and you can, you're gonna see that we tried the EDP and both yes. of us really liked it. And if you would like to see us do a comparison of the EDP yes, and the comment. Le Parfum, yeah. drop a comment. So what we have here is, no, what we have here is, yes, I'm coming to it right now. <laughs> Apple, all the highs, grapefruit, ginger, sage, lavender, a lot of sage, lavender, geranium, yeah. uh, in, in uh, quite yeah. a few of our latest uh, fragrances. Uh, then we have tonka bean, cedar, olibanum and patchouli. So now that I have smelled two of the Y fragrances, I'm pretty sure in that Y is the answer to Sauvage. So this yeah. is like Yves Saint Laurent's yeah. very version of Sauvage, yeah. of doing something and they are quite similar. Yeah. So uh, I heard from an industry insider, someone who is in the fragrance business, ah. uh, I heard that it's quite common for brands to uh, approach, um, to basically say when they have these internal discussions on what they are going to develop when it comes yeah. to perfumes, it's quite uh, common that they simply go to their competitors and say, no, no, not go to their competitors. No. But they <laughs> but look, look at, at their competitors yeah, yeah. and they say, okay, we want this because th we want our version of this. This yeah. was so successful, so we want this. And I think you are right in that this is probably, they, they had internal minis and were like, okay, we need a Sauvage. Yeah, <laughs> and then Give they it. just tried to copy it. Yeah, so. And then I guess it's gonna come down to, because I think the dif difference are, differences are so small. So I think if I were a man, I would look at um, how is the performance. And go yeah. with the one that performs best because yeah. both of the lines smell great, but they are very similar to me. So this one, in a way, uh, reminds me of uh, like a mix of uh, maybe Sauvage EDP and Sauvage Parfum. Because this one to me has that sweetness, that yeah. freshness, yeah. the clary sage, the, uh, the lavender, but it has 
some form of sweetness to it and it's not as powdery as the parfum. No. I still really enjoy this yeah, one and I understand really how one. people absolutely love this one because this is crazy mass appealing. Yes. This is really good. The question I guess comes down to if you have a lot of money and you really they're like this is the, your hobby, your passion, yeah. then yeah, you can get this one and you can get pretty much all the Sauvage. Pretty much like we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you are, but I would take uh, like an extra moment to think about if you enjoy Sauvage, that vibe, Yeah. maybe think about, okay, should I get the Sauvage or should I get this one? Yeah. Because in a way they do remind. Yes. They are not dupes, but no. they remind. Yeah. No, so I would say try both, try them on, try them on your skin yeah. and see how they perform and go yeah. for the one that just feels better. Yeah. And uh, even though I should, I think yeah, I always say, wear what makes you happy. If you are in a relationship, maybe ask your girlfriend what, yeah. which one she enjoys the most. Yes, and if she doesn't like it, you just change the girlfriend. Mm, that actually sounds that's something not that how I you... would say. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you are no, saying it. That sounds like something you would do. Mm, whoa. <laughs> Uh, no, I really enjoy this one. I think it's a fantastic release. How do yeah. you feel about it? No, I think it's great. Mm. Why do I say no, I think it's great? I don't know. I mean, yes, yes yeah. I think it's great. So <laughs> this is an awesome one according to the both of us. Yes. Uh, what do you have up for us next then? So I have something really exciting. So I bought my first Kaoli yes. fragrance. Um, no, you like already bought it. A year yeah, ago. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and Continue. that one is uh, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa mm, 21. So good. Such a lovely coconut yeah. and vanilla fragrance that I just layer with everything. Mm. And it smells lovely. Yeah. So when I was at a trip, I got a, a recommendation mm -hmm. from Julia. Mm -hmm. I think it was Julia. You can put it in the comments, Julia. Who said that Invite Only Amber 23 should smell similar to Herod. Whoa. And when she said that, I knew I had to get it. So I ran around and tried finding a sample. I couldn't find it. And then I tried buying it. I didn't manage to, but now I did. And here it is. Whoa. So we are going to, yay, now you can do that. <laughs> Double yay. So I, in a way, I hope it's going to smell as awesome as Herod. But I think it's going to be bad for you if, yeah. if it smells like Hera because yeah. maybe like you're going to be like, hey, where's this my bottle of it? Where's my bottle of Kayali? You have seen it here. If this disappears, yeah. you are my witnesses. <laughs> no, but it would be really funny to see that this is as good, even though yeah. I find it can anything top Hera. No, and no. maybe it's very dangerous to expect something like Herod because anything would be a disappointing yeah. uh, disappointment. So let's appreciate this for what it yes. is, but if it's as good so as Herod, what I'm this be says ecstatic. in the notes, you have the notes on, I love when they put the notes on the package. Mm, That's nice. so wonderful. Nice. So there is some black cherry, mm. honey de Provence, tobacco Ooh. leaf, amber raisin, and vanilla Madagascar. And Pretty I much everything just can't I love. get this wrapping off, so I'm gonna go do like this. And the bottles, bottles, I enjoy them. I think them. this is bigger than the other one it I have. It looks bigger. Yeah, and, and I like the color I love better. the bottles. Yeah. Yeah. No, the other one is really pretty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, so let's try it should out. Should I spray it on while you yes. read the notes? So yeah. I can read the notes here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you want to, me to read them but again? Sometimes. Here's sometimes the it's different, or they have they have more notes on, yeah. The, yeah. like Fragrantica. So I'm gonna go here and see if they have something else on Fragrantica. Yes, they do. Tobacco leaf, sour cherry, honey chocolate, hazelnut, Salem cinnamon, rose, citrus leaf, amber agarwood, vanilla benzoin, sandalwood, cypriol oil. Oh my god, patchouli yeah. and musk. So uh, I think this is an awesome one. Uh, but wow, I'm gonna this say is cool. Right away, it's not. This is Herod. not Herod. No. But this is cinnamon and cherry mm. in a beautiful mix. So this one to me is actually. I'm not gonna say that wow. this is more sweet than Herod because Herod is all about that sweet tobacco. Yeah. But this one is 
fruity, more fruity sweet, yeah. I would say. Yeah. And in a way, it does feel maybe a bit, or at least the, the sweetness is different than in Herod. Yes. And it also feels less powdery, but that could just that could just be me. Yeah. So there's something powdery about Herod, but I don't pick that one up here. No, and I think that, I mean, for me, Herod is definitely unisex. Mm. I think it's even better on a man, but I definitely think it's good on women mm. as well. This has more of the feminine touch. Mm -hmm. So no, it's not Herod, but of, they do have similarities. And I think that I will be using this quite a lot. And um, I like the tobacco in this one, even though uh, the tobacco, at least to me, is not the most intense kind. No. So it feels like they are sort of, a, e either they are really balanced against each yeah. other, this, that sweetness and all that, or the, the tobacco is a bit pushed back. Yeah, I think the tobacco and the cinnamon is really fighting about the attention mm. in this one, in a good way. But overall, I wish, I mean, I love honey in fragrances. The, yeah. the scent of honey just does something to me. Yeah. Uh, but the honey to me, the honey in this one to me is not that intense. No. Uh, but I, I really like it. This was an awesome purchase. I am very happy that I bought this yeah. because now I have to buy more from Kaoli. Yes. Uh, they have one, I think it's called like red apple or something, mm -hmm. a red bottle. That sounds like the most wonderful apple pie. That sounds good. So that I think good. that's going to be my next purchase. And now you have two. Yeah. Both of them have been really, really, really good. good. And what I do like about the Kaoli fragrances is that they, I mean, I only have two, mm. but I can really sense some kind of Kaoli DNA. Ah, okay. And they have made two that are very different um, and very, very good. I'm mm. impressed. You so, need a third one. I need a third and one. Hopefully, the third one is going to be as good as yes, these. Yes, and two. then I need a fourth one. Yeah. And a fifth one. Yeah. And yeah. Because you need like all of them, basically. You know where this is going to yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, at yeah. At the you... shelter. <laughs> <laughs> when I've spent uh, all my money my on God. fragrances. <laughs> uh, so, I think we should, what we, what, what we can say is that if you love sweet tobaccos, yeah. like Heron and want something that I guess you could call I mean I would not hesitate to use this one no and I bet that if I would use it you and yeah, other women would think unisex. it smells amazing yes. yeah but this one is maybe a bit more suitable for for females yeah than maybe Herod was even though I yeah. think Herod could be pulled off by both as well you have said that I can pull it off yes I yes have. but uh, you still think if so. you are looking for like a fruity <laughs> tobacco where the tobacco is not intense or brutal in any way, yeah. make sure you yeah. try this one out. I bet you're going to love it. I like this, it. Yes, this is already becoming one of my favorite fragrances mm, nice. in my entire collection. I think it's really Whoa. unique and cool. Yes, that is quite the statement. Yeah, it so, is. So uh, let's move on. Yeah. We have Tall Fort Noir Extreme. So. <sighs> The original Top Ford Noir is something that I think is really exciting. It's, it's so a good. unique scent and it's a really complex scent. I believe yeah. it's like 20 notes or something, yeah, 20 ingredients. This one, I already disclaimed, I already tried this one uh, way back. I used to have a bottle of it. This is my second bottle of it. So this one is the more sweet version of the Noir. And, and I you do usually... have the original Noir. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I usually describe this one as if you, if any one of you have tried Spice Bomb and yeah. Spice Bomb Extreme, yeah. this to me is like what Tom Ford did. So ah. they took the original with what, which was amazing. And made it even better. Even better, but more sweet and more sort of a mass appealing, I would say. So we have cardamom, nutmeg, saffron, mandarin, mandarin orange, neroli, Kulfi, that dessert. Mm. And then we have rose, mastique, jasmine, orange blossom. Oh my God. Vanilla, amber, woody notes, and sandalwood. This is so sexy. Yeah. That's the reaction pretty oh, much everyone has God. when they smell it, at least women. But guys love this one as and well. And this has something, just a hint, that reminds me of Tobacco Vanille, which is another amazing and very, very sexy Tom Ford fragrance. Mm. It's like they have the dried fruit and the sweetness together. 
Yeah, wow. you're right. There's yeah. uh, there's something about it that reminds me of that one, but I'm not sure what that would wow. be. And this is, I mean, I really like Tom Ford Noir, but this really is like Tom Ford Noir times 10. Yes. It's so much better, yes. even if the other one is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, wow. I keep, uh, this is the second time I bring up Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme, but, but what I enjoyed about Spice Bomb is, is that that felt like a truly original kind of creation yeah and it was spice bomb extreme added it removed some of that spiciness and added sweetness instead and made it even more mass appealing because yeah. sweetness usually sweetness most of us enjoy fruitiness. Yeah. yeah this is i i feel that tom ford did the same sort of a process with this one in that the noir to me is mysterious it's alluring sexy elegant and classy but everyone loves Tom Ford Noir Extreme more, yeah. and I think it's because of that extra sweetness and all that. Yes. Uh, do you think it's unisex? Mm, I'm yes. asking for a friend who wants it. Ah. <laughs> this is a tough one. Mm, I, 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 I think it could work on a one. But there's this, I'm gonna guess maybe it's the cardamom nutmeg at the top. Yeah. That at least right now, feels leans a bit more masculine okay but i bet that part is going to uh, sort of uh, diminish or get reduced when it starts yeah. to dry down so 30 or minutes into or one hour into the dry down it's going to Ooh. smell different i just thought about layering i need to try so you take this one and you take oriana with the mar Ooh. marshmallows and whipped cream interesting. on top interesting. then we can make it a female version yeah, this is perfect for laying. I mean, uh, I would not hesitate to lay this with like a, a vanilla dominant scent. Let's yeah. say Guerlain Chalimar or yeah. Chalma wow. Vanilla yes. Tanipoli or something like yes. that. Or um, Feb Delici No. Um, yeah, actually Feb Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> or what I was thinking is Dior's Vanilla Diorama. Just yeah. add some vanilla yeah. to it. Wow. Perfect for layering. I'm happy that you love it. Everyone pretty much loves this one. And if you wow. are looking for something that is mass appealing, something that smells insanely good, then you gotta make sure to try Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. So next up, we have one from Van Cleef and Arpels, mm. and this is my first from them. Is it Van Cleef and Arpels, which know. I say, or is it Van Cleef and Arpels? And how are they going to tell us in writing? Uh, <laughs> Can someone please I write know, how you spell out? Is no, it, how put, you... put a one in the comments if it's Arpels. Put a two if it's Arpels. Yes. Uh, Please uh, do. Yeah, and if it's uh, like a row for her for a three. <laughs> Where do you get everything? I don't know. <laughs> What have you dr drank or eaten? Uh, or I had a, a massive cup of coffee just before this video, <laughs> so I'm a bit... So this is Rose Rouge. Mm. And when I saw the notes, I knew I had to get it. Because this has... Mm. You're supposed to fill in. Rose. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, but what other kinds of notes do I love? Mm, vanilla. Rum. <laughs> No. <laughs> black currant. Oh, black currant. Yes. Ah, How okay. can't you okay. not know that? But you do and love vanilla and rum, right? I do love yeah. vanilla and rum. Yeah. And it also has pink pepper in the top, Ooh. which I also love. Nice. Then some raspberry. Ooh. And cacao pod. Whoa. Yeah. Hold this on. This was not easy. No, this was easy. This was not hard. Both <laughs> of you and I absolutely <laughs> love raspberry yeah. and I hope this is going to have like a chocolate kind of vibe to it. I hope so. Mm. And I really like the bottles yeah. um, and I know that you don't care about the bottles, although you always Let me put it say this way. something about I the really bottles. I really enjoy beautiful bottles. Most of the time yeah. I enjoy when they are sort of minimalistic. So I, one of the best designed bottles or prob probably V is the yours from the exclusive Maison. Yes, yeah. yes. So minimalistic, yeah. but so beautiful. A I pure love luxury. Them. Yeah, you can put them on, like they are going to become like part of your des interior design yes. at home. Yes. But some bottles are just horrible. Uh, but these are the, really yeah, nice. nice. So let's try it out. So if so you in a do way, this... Sorry for interrupting you. In yeah. a way, I do care about the bottles. Yeah, you do. But honestly, it's the juice that matters the most. I don't care about the juice. Except 
I actually remember, uh, remembered, except uh, Pakuraban's Phantom, which is the robot yes, bottom. Yes, and there... I just don't want it because it, it looks like a kid's toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna have that on, on like a shelf or something? And not you. And no, not me. No. So yeah. So uh, I'm gonna, gonna read, read you yeah. the notes, and there are quite a few. So we have black currant, pink pepper, bergamot, then some rose, raspberry, and vetiver, cacao pod, vanilla, patchouli, benzoin, vetiver, and musk. Sounds amazing. Everything about but the vetiver. Oh, mm. wow! I got a whiff of it. I like it. I get the raspberry, oh I get God. the rose, I get the fruity side of it with the black currant, I get the pink pepper. I do not get that much of the cacao pod. I do. You do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I try Wow, it? this is so good. This yeah. is so much better than I was hoping for or expecting. This is amazing. Now I have tried three from Van Cleef and Arpels and they are all amazing. And I think this is actually my maybe my favorite one mm, yeah this um, is very to me i it's probably unisex but to me this is so feminine mm. and beautiful and elegant mm. and when i put this on i will feel like the most elegant mm. woman ever existed <laughs> ever i was about I, I was about to say the most elegant woman ever made Whoa, ever that's made. Okay. <laughs> yeah. on planet Earth. Yeah. Um, wow. Or on Mars, if you want. So, the black currant, I can feel it. The raspberries, I can feel it. It has a beautiful rose. Yeah. And I'm not so into rose. But no, this you're rose not. No. is incredible. And the ca cacao pod, the vanilla. Wow. I like that this one has so many different sides to it. Yeah. So, it's a bit fruity. Yeah. Uh, it's rose, it's raspberry, and then the vanilla. It's slightly sweet, it's floral, uh, wow. but none of the sort of uh, aspects are pushing or taking over. No. So yeah, I think this was an awesome purchase. Uh, and overall, I gotta say, between you and I, uh, the different Van Cleef's that we yeah. have now have, yeah. uh, one sort of a common theme is that, uh, at least based on those, is that they really create beautiful scents. Yes. So um, yes. this one is, I hope the longevity and the performance on this is going to be good because I've been hearing that the performance on a lot uh, of them are not that good. Yeah. But it feels like, I mean, I got a whiff of it when you sprayed it, uh, yes. when I sprayed it. So yeah. So um, if I say Rouge Trafalgar, but warmer and sweeter, Ooh, what do you try. say? Rouge Trafalgar from Dior. Oh my God. Yes. You are right. It has, and I'm not sure if that's, uh, it's cute. I I'm curious on see, to see which one of these came first. Yeah. If one was uh, inspired by the other, but yeah, it has a bit of Rouge Trafalgar vibes to yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. I awesome just love one. it. And so who was... should buy this one if, if, if you would recommend it to someone? Uh, definitely unisex. Um, Maybe not a young woman. Mm. I mean, like a teenager. Maybe it's too like feminine and mature for mm. it. But this is so elegant. You can wear this to anything. But once again, we have a fragrance that I think that you should save for not work. For things you're doing, like going meeting friends, definitely going on a mm. date, a dinner parties, or yeah, just whenever you dress up and want to add that perfect scent that yeah. will just complete your outfit. Uh, drop a comment uh, if you want Sandra Solomon Fragrance to do a review of yes. this one. Uh, awesome one. So, they already know what I think now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you want like an in depth review of it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so, uh, are we going to do like we, we always do to are. pick our favorites? Yes, we are. So, so, we can pick two. We can. Yes. Or are we going to make it super hard on us and no, just I, pick uh, yeah. one? Yeah, we are only going to pick one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you first. Um, Was it just five? No. Or six? Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So no, you so go hard. first. Whoa. No. Yes. I insist. Ladies first. Okay. This is so hard. So I, I'm I, going I, to I, pick. I, sorry. I realize now that I should have said. That's not. This one. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick this one. That's not even two. No, this is. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to do like this. I love this. This is amazing, but 
the choice is between these two. Ah, okay. And this is maybe not for women. I don't know. We're mm. going to have to evalu uh, evaluate that. Mm. This is definitely for women. Mm. So I'm going to go with this. I'm in love. Ah, okay. I think it's amazing. Okay. Uh, I think I am going to sort of do the same thing as you did. I mean... Cheat. Sh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you are a woman, just get this one, yeah. amazing one. Uh, I really like this one. I probably, this will most likely be something that even though I really, really like it now, I'm probably going to love it yeah, in a I month think or something. So. But currently, I, s I mean, you can't go wrong with Tom from no. Extreme. No. But I really enjoyed uh, this one as well, the YSL Parfum. So I'm currently going to do go with these two but i could easily no. switch out no so uh we are not yeah. going with two uh, yeah uh, or three yeah this this one <laughs> but i mean awesome uh, collection of fragrances here. Yes. this was an amazing yes. fragrance haul really so um guys don't forget to like this video subscribe to both me and Roth and rebel i will put a link in the description and please come back for our next video yes thanks for watching bye bye